What you're looking at is pretty much the airsoft equivalent of the Aston Martin DB9. A modern classic, they both pack a powerful punch and a touch of class. It's also just as rare. A modified WE Tokarev pistol with custom fabricated underbarrel shotgun, even if you can afford the high cost of entry, good luck finding one. Everywhere is sold out. Fortunately, all is not lost. Shoguns have announced that they're planning to release a second batch, so hopefully it's not too long until we receive a few guns province side. What's going on? Vincent here bringing you another Toronto Airsoft video from the land where if I was an agent, I'd be a Queensman? Or how about Prime Ministersman? Either way, today we're taking a look at the Kingsman pistol shotgun. No, we don't have any to sell right now, and I literally have one day with this pistol to make this video. If you are interested in owning this pistol, leave us a comment down below. Maybe then they'll be more inclined to ship us some of their second batch. For those of you who don't know, the Tokarev TT-33, the successor to the TT-30, is the Eastern European answer to the 1911. Introduced in 1933 by Fyodor Tokarev, it went on to become one of the most prolific pistols of the 20th century. The Kingsman movie series brought the pistol back into the spotlight by making it their standard issue pistol for the Kingsman Secret Service. They added gorgeous checkered wood grips, modified the hammer, and most notably added the underbarrel shotgun. Presentation is pretty nice as far as airsoft guns go. You get an included soft case, Shogun's patch, three Kingsman collectible cards, and a certificate in an envelope with an actual wax seal on it. Is it necessary? No, but it's this attention to detail that I would really like to see more of in the airsoft world. Let's take a look at build quality. The WE Tokarev is an excellent replica, but I think the guys at Shogun's made it even better. There's zero slide play, and there's very, very little barrel wobble at the front. That smaller recessed hammer is a little harder to cock back, but I think it makes for a cleaner look. Taking a look at the star of the show, the underbarrel shotgun is very well constructed. It's entirely made of metal, so it adds a decent amount of heft. The finish is a little different than the rest of the gun, but the way it fits onto the gun, it feels like one solid unit. The barrel release is tight, and the barrel pivots down really smoothly. Though I do wish that the barrel was spring-loaded. The trigger is solid and simply pushes a pin, which sets off the shotgun shell. Functionally, the metal shotgun shell holds six BBs at a time and can take PPS shotgun shells, which are pretty easy to find in the market. The checkered solid wood grips are nice to look at and even better to hold. I was never too big a fan of the stock plastic panels. While we're on the grips, let's do a quick comparison to the 1911. This highlights one of the biggest complaints about the TT-33, a rather odd grip. It's quite a bit shorter and doesn't flare out at the base like the 1911. This means it doesn't quite fill the hand as comfortably. Add the fact that the grips are a lot more vertical and you have a pistol that definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. Let's take a look at the trigger pull. Because of the added shotgun trigger, the original trigger had to be shortened and the pull modified. The tight space still doesn't accommodate your finger very well, but the pull itself is one of the best I've seen yet. Uptake is virtually non-existent and you immediately find the wall. One millimeter of smooth travel later and you hit the brake right at the end of travel, so no over travel. Reset is exactly the same length as the initial pull and gives you a nice tactile feedback. Why can't all triggers be this good? And there you have it, the Kingsman Pistol Shotgun. My most sincerest Canadian apology for not being able to shoot this one, but let's be honest, if you want this gun, it's probably as a collector's piece anyways. I'm really excited to see more movie guns being brought to life. Personally, I'd love to see the Thermoptic Pistol from Ghost in the Shell. What movie gun would you like to see in Airsoft? Leave us a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more content, and we'll catch you next time.